Good morning, we're here at GSI to talk about GCL3. The first thing we need to do is to get the uh, clay in the infill of the geosynthetic clay liner. Here you see four different varieties. The clay infill is obtained by separating the two geotextiles and then pouring it out. The G GCL as a precursor needs to be dried so that the clay is dry. It can't have a moisture content of uh, any more than a percent or two. You take that material and then you have to uh, grind it so that you prepare it for the uh, swell index test, ASTM D5890. So uh, taking the clay infill, it will either be granular or powdered. That material still has to go through a number 200 or a number 100 and 200 sieve, 100% has to pass the number 100 and 65% uh, have to pass the number 200. You do that typically with a mortar and pestle. This is sort of the old school way to do it. The better way, which is a lot easier, is with a uh, mill. And this mill, you put the material in and then subsequently uh, grind it and then have the material. You then place it on a uh, sieve stack and then you'll activate the sieve stack and then subsequently get the material for the uh, two grams which was required for the swell index. This exact uh, specimen preparation will be done for uh, fluid loss as well as for uh, swell index. Okay, you've prepared your specimen by uh, sieving it through the 100% uh, passing the 100 and 65% uh, passing the number 200. Now you have to make the gel uh, of the material. You do that by adding uh, 350 milliliters of distilled deionized water. It has to be reagent grade water, so this has to be very clean. You then introduce this into a, uh, a mixer and it looks a lot like a milkshake mixer. Uh, this is a Hamilton Beach. It needs a wavy blade like this. Um, while you have it mixing, um, you, you then introduce the powder. I turned off because it was making too much noise, but you'll then introduce the, the powdered uh, infill that you uh, prepared, and you'll introduce that incrementally into the cup of the, the mixer. You'll do that over time, and subsequent to that, it will look like this gel. I prepared this in advance and there you see it. There's the type of gel that will you'll experience uh, when you mix this up. Uh, it has to be mixed uh, quite a bit better than this. It's just for demonstration. You then take that material and uh, you have to let it sit overnight and it will sit overnight and subsequent to that you cover it and this is what it looks like. Here's the uh, gel that was prepared yesterday and uh, subsequently sitting. Then you take this gel and you mix it um, prior to entering it into the filter press. I have to stop this. Uh, you would mix that right up until you're uh, ready to go. Here is an idea of what the gel looks like of the uh, distilled deionized water and the, uh, the clay mixture which is sat overnight. Now we're loading the filter press. This is the base of the fan filter press. It subsequently has a gasket in the base of it. Subsequent to that you need to place the screen over top of that. Then the filter paper. This filter paper is prescribed within the standard, within the norm, and then subsequent to that is the uh, another gasket. This is the uh, housing for the fan filter press, and you actually turn it. So now you're prepared to introduce the uh, the gel. You will mix the material, and it will be mixed for 15 minutes prior to introducing it into the cell and then you'll introduce that gel into the cell. You're ready to put the lid on it and here's the lid for the filter press and this is how the press is assembled. You have to assemble it in the right sequence and apply a normal pressure through this uh, screw in the back. 
You then will take uh, a graduated cylinder, and this graduated cylinder will go underneath the material, or underneath the press, and there's a hole in the base of the press that this fits into. You then subsequently will set your timer and introduce a pressure of 100 PSI to the back of this filter press. That 100 PSI is uh, exerted at time equals zero, and then you will let 7.5 minutes pass uh, and then switch out the two cylinders. You'll take the cylinder out and then <clears throat> put the remaining one in. This remaining cylinder will be housed in here for 22.5 minutes. So the total time is 30 minutes for running the test. This uh, cylinder will then accumulate fluid. It'll be, it'll look like clear water that's passing through it. You take this graduated cylinder, multiply it by two, and that's your fluid loss values. This is uh, ASTM D as in David. 5891 fluid loss for the infill of a GCL, the bentonite uh, material. That fluid loss value uh, would like to be above uh, 18. Basically, this number needs to be 9 or greater because you multiply the value, the volume, times 2 to obtain uh, the fluid loss.